Right, it's the 10th of um, January 2024. I have to kind of bypass this out, I can't help that. It's just too heavy to do anything about. Right, so it's Matthew Honeyset neighbour, basically banging to say I'm gonna fucking smash you in, knife you to the fucking floor, smash your door off, breaking in, tear your fucking arms and legs off, break all your fucking fingers off, saying you're a child rapist, molester, woman ch rapist, molester, and uh, to break in and to set the place alight to, uh, with, with petrol or diesel and to, um, to shoot you down and to take your fucking life and saying that you are being molested in your next life as a child, as a baby and paying for what you've fucking done in this life, you fucking rapist and he's starting to mistake me as Seven though he did some, was moaning and mistaking me as Liam at one time which could possibly either be the Liam threat I used to get at my old place or the Liam that used to live in that building there's a new threat and that's to say that I'm moving to Highbridge and being knifed down but I just wanted to mention if we go back a couple of months ago I did actually bid on Highbridge Court, which is in Highbridge, on the Home Finder, Homes in Sedgemoor, which is a place where you can move to from the accommodation that I'm living at, or where they exchange from people moving from one house to another, is that sort of thing. Well, obviously, I've had to uh, go to the council to try and cancel the bid that I did on that, because when I actually visited, after I did the bid and the bids were taken and collected, um, I went to visit out on the bus, took a bus trip there, and someone in that building was mistaking me as Savan and shouting aggressively saying that he's going to knife me dead and fucking kill me uh, thinking that I'm a rapist so that's why I had to go to the council to cancel that bid but the council told me that I can't do that they said then you'd have to contact the um, home finder so in the end I just uh, left the social worker I let the support worker know to um, uh, sort it out possibly because I don't believe I'll get it anyway because um, most other people are on better bandings or positions or been on Home Finder longer than I have, even if they're on a lower banding. So hopefully that one will go through, but I will have to cancel it if they do decide to choose that place for me. Right, choked by catalytic converter hot point. I'll come to the information on all the problems in a minute. I'm in the middle of doing something and it's been bad, I will tell you that. Right, let's get, we're going out, shall we? I see Grace, which is one of the neighbours. I don't usually speak to Grace. I try to keep myself to myself for several reasons because of issues with other neighbours and whatever else. We initially spoke until we got about where the play school is um, because you have to pass the play school to go anywhere where I live. Um, and she said, how's Lisa? So I thought, is she being sarcastic or, is, or did I miss her? Anyway, whichever it was, I decided to leave at that point and I said, I'll see you later. So I went on. Um, then they timed a look like to someone who sexually abused me as a child tied to an erection, followed by a big fat ba uh, fat person with a baby in his sling bounced about, where he's bouncing a baby in a sling laughing with his missus, and this person's in his 40s. Um, so after that, there's a couple of black and blue cars, drains hit over, being choked by a catalytic converter. Two just, or just two, dust cart. Um, once we get past that, um, there's a girl and a boy aged about 11 kissing each other, talking about sex, having sex with each other. At that point, I was right, going to write it down. Another bloke starts on me, gets aggressive, saying, Who are you fucking moaning about these for two for? Because I'll tell you what, I'll fucking break your legs, I'll smash all your fucking teeth in, and I'll, you won't be fucking standing, you fucking sick fucking bastard, you fucking paedophile, you fucking rapist. So he started shouting like that. So I had to put my pen and paper away and I had to put my camera away for safety reasons. And he then he said, there's kids, they're kids, they can do what they fucking like. They're the same age, got a fucking problem with it, I'll fucking smash you in. So we get past that and then there's a teenager and a boy kissing each other after that. And then they're talking about having a baby with each other just to make things even worse. Anyway, I get past that, go into the shop. Firstly, there's four people that are time to sneeze in my face, which I'm not very happy about. Then there's another person that was coughing in my direction. And then obviously, um, what happens then? I pass a neighbor actually, uh, one of the neighbors that I say all right to on a regular basis. So I said all right to her, and that was all okay, no problems there. And then obviously I left farm foods. When I left farm foods, I um, had a few threats uh, being mistaken as Savan, 
and a photograph taken of me with the same consequences of what this person was saying when he said he was going to smash me out or whatever. Similar stuff that he said was being said to me by people that were photographing me mistaking me as Savan. So there's several people that are doing that initially. Obviously there's road work, so the other side of the road the cars were sort of um, busy, but it was all in a black and blue, grey, white, sick, white, knife shaped or gun shaped or whatever, that's or sexual, that's, that's always like that now, there's nothing you can do about it, it's fixed. So we get to where the road work workers are, and firstly there's a teenage couple talking about having sex again unfortunately. I don't think it's the same couple that were, that I initially saw at, uh, just before I went in the shop, but I can't remember what they look like, I didn't take much notice. Anyway, these uh, road work workers, they, um, uh, two of them had an argument saying that I'll be fucking smashed in. I'll fucking smash his head off. No, smash his fucking head off or something like that. Fits of thinking that I'm Savan and saying that I'm a rapist. And then they has got a disagreement and I was being choked by a catalytic converter at the same time with the, uh, machinery being used. When I get ne to the next point, there's more road work workers and they basically say exactly the same. Uh, it's a bit more aggressive. But what they did say that was interesting is they said that Matt, he's going to break in his flat and burgle him. and saying he is a fucking rapist, he's right. Right, so we get past there, go over the bridge, and they time cars to collide either side. It's not the busiest I've known it, but enough to annoy me. And then I get to the, um, no problems apart from red and sick colour cars on the road. I get to the catalytic converter point, and that leads me to the last video that I did, to where we are at the moment. Right, so let's get to going out, shall we? Well, firstly, I see Grace, who's a neighbour, so I walk as far as where the play school is, because you have to pass the play school to go anywhere. Um, at that time, she made a remark, and she said, how is Lisa? So she's referring to Lisa Pike, if I heard that correctly. And I can't guarantee 100% I heard that correctly, but uh, at that stage, I decided to depart and walk on. So firstly, it was time to look like someone who sexually abused me as a child, time to an erection, followed by a fat person, a really fat person, with a small baby in a sling, and he's bouncing the baby about in a sling um, with his girlfriend, sort of laughing to each other as they're cheering about the baby, basically. Um, the next section is uh, black and blue cars, sick white, grey, white, whatever, being slub smashed over drain cover, being choked by a catalytic converter, or whatever else. And then there's uh, two children aged about 11 talking about having sex with each other, kissing each other, and saying how much they've enjoyed sex in the past. So I decided to get a word pad out and write it down, so write all the problems down on paper. And this bloke starts on me, he says, Who are you fucking writing that down for, mate? Because I'll tell you what, you're fucking sick, you really are, you're a fucking paedophile. Uh, come over, because I'll fucking smash you out now, I'll take your fucking arms and legs off and I'll fucking break your fucking neck and break your fucking back and all the rest of it. He says, you're a fucking weird cunt and you're a fucking child molester. And I'm like, fuck, all this and all that. And then, in the end, I had to just go with what he said and ignore him. So next stage... Just to make things worse, there's an older teenage couple talking about wanting to have a baby who are aged about 13 or 14. And one of them was actually similar looking to Matty Neighbour, in fact. It wasn't because it's a lot younger, but very similar looking. And obviously the uh, girlfriend was a, you know, a blonde sexual type person. Right, so we get past the next part. A few catalytic converter setups, and I'm being choked by started cars or whatever. Just go, or just to go, or something like that. I can't remember what the name was, on a dust cart. Um, and then after that, four people are time to sneeze in my face, two people mistake me as Savan, giving me threats, saying that um, I'm going to be knifed down and beat up and fucking smashed in, being mistaken as a child rapist and woman rapist and woman beater and child beater. So we've had to put up with that. There's another two people that were mistaking me as Savan, and then I was sneezed up one more time. At this point, I uh, walk away from that and I see another neighbour. And I say, all right, to the neighbour, no problems there. That's all good. And manage to pay for my stuff and walk out the shop. After I walk out the shop, firstly, someone is trying to sneeze in my face. Someone coughs at me. Um, not straight away. And then there's two youths, or young men, somewhere between 16 and 20, uh, saying that they want to do me over and smash me out, thinking I'm Savan and I'm a rapist. So we get that issue there. Once we pass that, um, do we get to the start of the road work workers giving me hassle? So basically what happens there is uh, two road work workers take into account of being choked by a catalytic converter right through because their machinery is uh, fuel based and uh, 
basically he's saying that I'm surveillance scenes a rapist and he's like, I'll fucking have him, I'll fucking smash his fucking head off. I'll break his fucking arms off. I'll fucking beat him, I fucking tell you. Get in like that. And then obviously when we get to the next section, another couple of road work workers say exactly the same. But there is something else that they mention which annoy me. They say that uh, Matty is going to fucking bust him. He knows exactly who he is. So that's what they said in one of the sections of the conversation of this aggressive behaviour that's being aimed at me. When it goes to the bridge, they time a load of cars to collide with me and force me into the side or whatever, and, and I'm being choked by a catalytic converter. And then on the road, as I'm walking towards the catalytic converter hot point, it's just a section of black and blue cars, red, sick, grey, knife shaped, gunpoint uh, looking, not gunpoint, gun shape, sorry, I'm getting confused with the gunpoint van. So, which hasn't happened today, but it could do. Uh, and then obviously that takes us to the last video where I mentioned the catalytic converter hot point for a few seconds. Yes, there's been a few threats from the uh, one of the um, people near the farms. I don't think it's actually from the farm, I'm not sure. Um, saying that I'm going to be fucking beat up and knifed. Saying that I'm Savan. Um, I've walked past a couple of old people. They've given me no trouble at all. There's a couple of old people down the path just before I did that recording, the previous one, to this. And I didn't get any trouble from them either. Those two bikes were tied to an itchy bumbo, I noticed, and also crows saying stuff that's not good as well. I didn't manage to photograph it in time, but there's been a purple sexual car, which has sexy purple written on the side of it, with tinted purpley windows as well, with the whole, you know, the whole car sexual, and four loud bikes tied to an erection and an itchy bumhole. Right, so I've had another few threats, uh, basically mistaking me as Savannah again, all three and saying that I'm going to be fucking sniped down, fucking shot dead, or have been fucking broken into, or we'd be in fucking uh, smashed up, or wouldn't know, gun dead or whatever. So, I'm going to get past all that. There's two grey cars that collide, and then choked by a catalytic converter. Then there's a red sexual car, followed by um, a granny replacements van. Can't guarantee 100%, but someone over there sounded like saying, beat up, laser, and fucking have him said. Right, I've just been down that road, and I've just had to uh, come onto the graveyard, as I usually do. But uh, it comes with the privilege of uh, me trying to leave an, a message on the answer machine. But instead of that, um, I have to put the phone down for two cars to cut me up to force me onto one side of the road, so that I'm sneezed at by the next person that's walking past. And then there's also someone on the roof that's uh, doing something on the roof that sneezes at the same time as I go past. And then there's another car that stops me cutting away from that person. And then obviously after that, there's six more cars in a black and blue, uh, uh, and that's it. Then after that, there's basically six more cars, uh, mostly black and blue, and being choked by a catalytic inverter. Crow says, ah, ah. But also, there's been other sounds, a crow or seagulls or whatever, animals, unusual animal sounds, in fact, uh, saying that I'm having a break-in and that there's nothing left. And there's another sound that's occurred saying there's no sex left. Right, it's the 10th of the 1st, 2024, and as you can see, it's blue skies and sunshine everywhere. Where well, the two people I just phoned up said it's cloudy where they are. There we are, the government are purposely packing this road times as I reach it. So I'm a bit pissed off at this now. I'm great, right? No uh, more. Obviously, it's not that busy, but it's still the best to stop now. A black sexual um, grey. Sounds like blind you with a laser music. That overhand girl just hit my leg. I won't go into a long debate about this, but it's just a load of animal voice sounds saying this and that. All the usual stuff I mentioned, I'll go go through it because I can't be fucking bothered. Life gone, knock you out, said. My bird keeps on tweeting saying you molested certain names who I've never had sex with. I found a new path but it's busy and it's full of people dribbling bow whistles. Basically where I was about 15 minutes ago, child rapist said. Shot dead, there's no one left you child rapist uh, said. And choked out by the catalytic converter at the diggers. But these people that are on the diggers. Um. Sick cunt. I'll smash them out. Dead. Fucking HIV needle the cunt, said. And then someone else says, I'll fucking shoot him dead.
All right, it's been another load of loud bikes time to run our action. Right, including this minute in time, curses and problems. But anyway, for the last three years I've been going to church. I started going Barrow Church near Burnham on Sea before I moved to Yeovil. And when I did it at Yeovil, first of all, I was being mistaken as Savannah being nailed as a sicko, and things weren't very smooth to start with. Anyway, I started praying to Jesus Christ and whatever, and doing prayers and whatever, and I gave up on it in the end after, you know, after the three years were up or whatever, just under three years, because God was not helping me at all. In fact, life got worse. I was being mistaken as Savannah, being told I'm a rapist. Uh, turn people against me, all these curses were occurring, things that were full like trees were collapsing on me, and crows were going ha ha ha, and telling me to sex people that raped me as a child, and saying there's no one left, and causing all this, which happens still at the moment. So I changed my religion, so I went to the Jehovah Witnesses. Exactly the same there, and to add to that, I even caught a cold there. So, next problem. Uh, after I gave up on that, I decided to go with some instructions that I was given by a Muslim, on Facebook. So I started doing some of that, but only a little bit of it, not too much, because I gave up on that because when I started doing that my life started to worsen again. So I basically told all these people and messaged these people that um, it's uh, not, nothing's going to work. I said it was psychological and that any prayers that you do are not going to work. So basically what I was referring to is if I was to go down this path now, whatever's going to happen down this path is fixed, it's pre-planned. You can't change it. No prayer can move or replace what's in that path or anything like that unless it's known to someone who's going to deliberately do it. But if you're going down a path where you know nobody at all and you're looking for a better option, nothing's going to change regardless if you do prayers or not. A prayer's going to do absolutely nothing to change the ability and welfare of your life. So if someone's going to attack you, they're going to attack you. If you're going to get threats, you're going to get threats. If you're not going to get sex or a partner, you're not going to get sex or a partner. If you're going to get animals, say, to tell you to fuck people that rape you as a child, you're going to get animals to tell you to fuck people that rape you as a child in a cursed way. If something's going to fall down like a tree, it's going to fall down. If it's going to fall down time as you walk past, no prayer, no nothing can change that. What's going to happen will happen. This is what I tried telling him. You can't change what's going to happen. And he believes none of it. And so do the JWs, and so do the Christian people I messaged. They think that I'm going to get someone. They believe that, and they said that. They said this 15 years ago when I was living at Bridgewater in West Street. They said, "Put your trust in Jesus Christ." All that time, my life's just got worse and worse. Just shows how wrong they are, doesn't it? What's going to happen at catalytic converter hot point's not going to change. There's nothing you can do at no prayer at work. What's going to happen is going to happen. Now you see what I mean? And it's a busy catalytic converter hot point. Right, I decided to stop for a couple of minutes to do a Muslim prayer. The best I could, that is. Because um, I just want to see whether it does actually work. To see if it rearranges my movement from the problems that are going to occur walking back home. Maybe I'll have a partner for the first time in my life walking to my direction. Who knows? Well, let's just see what happens, shall we? Right, I've just uh, done a couple of minutes of praying to Allah We're in Muslim style, the best I could, because I just want to see whether anything changes. I don't believe it will. I believe that anything that occurs cannot be changed through prayer. So we'll soon see. Maybe a partner for the first time in my life will occur. I mean... They were believed that, many people believed I'm going to get a partner and they said pray to Jesus when I was going to Christian places. Well, it hasn't happened, so it's, uh, well, 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 let's see what happens next, shall we? I can tell you now, the only way I'm going to get a partner is through dimensions, because um, quite literally everyone's taken, everyone's a single mother and you're known as a sick bastard if you don't go with a zombie type of attraction that looks like a toff laughing backwards in an unhygienic, goofy looking way. And I don't take to that type, but you're known as a sick bastard once you're in your 40s. In actual fact, when you're in your 40s, you're told that you shouldn't be having sex full stop in your 40s, regardless of whether it's younger or older. So that's a good thing to put me under, so it's basically cut my throat sexually. So the only sex I'm ever going to have is being raped as a child. When I refer to dimensional force, what I mean is where someone 
transforms from one dimension to another dimension within the planet Earth realm. This is like travelling through portals from one country to another. Then again you've got to look at the same language, whether that person's compatible for you. And I don't even believe in that because, like I said, even with the New Age, uh, I was doing a lot of New Age stuff. Going back before um, 2019, something like that. And it's just falling through, all of it. Even the haunted dolls, you know, it's, they're like haunted objects. I, I used to collect haunted objects like dolls, um, uh, haunted photographs, black and white ones mostly, uh, haunted rings, keys, uh, glass bottles. Basically what someone's been attached to in their living life and they're still around it. And because it's still around it, the spirit resides next to that item and it makes your house or place haunted wherever that item is placed. So that's basically what haunted items are. So it's not actually something that's inside the item. It's something that's attached to the object or wants to be around that specific thing. When it comes to haunted porcelain dolls, um, they're a better way to communicate because um, a doll is in a human figure and it's easier for a spirit to communicate rather than through something like um, a ring, a watch, a key or whatever. Well, the prayers certainly helped um, with animal voice sounds because all they're saying is you're having a break in and Bim's having sex with Stephanie when I've never shagged her. Penis shoots up, so loud bike twice. Just got it, red sexual car my way. Timed, angled at me. Although it's not on the road, it's the way it's being done. Choked by catalytic converter. Black and blue top with red hair and white with one light out and the bike timed as well to erection. I got it photographed, I'm not sure if I got it filmed. I failed to get it recorded but the motorbike timed to an erection, it might come up here. Now the cell calls up me and uh, uh, I've forgotten the colour of the cell. Um, black and blue, grey sexual. limbo we saw that choked by catalyst with about 300 cars so um, I think that just about confirms that prayers don't work and it's psychological there's been about 20 cars up that road as well just after come across and drain covers hit as I said that prayer really worked and the water prayers in the past because since I've been home it's just been loud bike up on loud bike time to an erection and banging in threats to sound breaking in, smashing you with a knife, injecting you with HIV, shooting you down, uh, smashing you to fucking pieces. So yeah, prayers really do work, don't they? <laughs>